All right, we're back with Half-Life 2, Episode 2. It's been about a week since I last played, but uh, that's because the sore throat I was complaining about turned into a full-blown cough. And uh had to wait for it to go away before I started recording again, but let's get back to it. Good luck taking out that auto gun. Thanks. Oh, well, that's lovely. It's a good thing I've been supplied with saw blades. And fire. And paint, of course. That was worth it. Totally worth it. I would like for you to pull out a grenade. That would have been nice. Come here. <laughs> Point blank dual barrel shot. It's nice. Ah, oh, damn. That's alright, I have another one. Cool. Alright, so if I'm remembering correctly, this is the correct way. Yep, there's the auto gun. Won't do us a whole lot of good. But that thing's still around, oh god. I have to try and stay in cover. Jesus. Nope. Get out of here, flaming head crab. As long as you stay crouched, you'll be fine. Oh, crap. Where is it? No! No, that'll work. Yeah, they're following me. I hear Combine! Stupid shotgun douche. At least I got a shotgun refund. Oh, really? Is there any more suit armor lying around? No? Break a window in frustration then. Hello, Tors. Oh, God. No. Get out of here. I can't see Torso Zombie now. There you are. That is not the correct way to go. Gotta go through it. Come on. There we go. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Stupid, stupid zombies. There are torsos everywhere. Now he doesn't look pleased. Stop following me, doucheface. Alright, we're clear. Oh, hold on. I remember you. Jesus, that still hurt. How close was he? You 
infinite grenades. That's a hint if I ever saw one. Get back here. Oh, that was not good. Now I figured that they would try to shoot at me a little bit more than then what they did. All right, it's lava grenade in there, and get the hell back. Cool. Get my grenade back, and we'll get the hell out of here. See you, zombies. Nice. I'm right here. You don't have to yell in my face. Alright. Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. I like bonuses. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're gonna want to stop and investigate. I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. No need to thank you. All right, let's get the hell out here. Let's get on the road again. Stop the car, Gordon. According to the radar, it looks like there's a supply cache here. There's indeed. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to blow this up. Guess it did. Magnum ammo. Lots of it, too. Yeah, I thought I saw another one. Nice. Alright, let's get the hell out of here again. Come on, Alex. Let's go. Oh, God, she's happy that I ran over a crow. Ugh. Aw, oh, nice. Did I split that zombie in half? It kind of looked like I did. Get these fools down. Probably not going to go for all of the caches, but uh, this one does contain a rocket launcher, which I do want. Right then, let's see. First of all, quick save. Let's see if I can do this properly. All right. That went a uh, lot better than expected. Oh yeah, rocket launcher, shotgun ammo. It's the best. <laughs> rocket launcher. That'll come in handy. Oh yeah. Alright, Alex, come on. Let's not worry about that other cash. I only wanted the rocket launcher. So back on the road with Alex.
Heading towards White Forest, once again. See what other kind of trouble we can get into.